Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the next week of Fine Arts Theater. Um, I think, Clinton, uh, I now don't have to feel bad because I think I'm caught up pretty well on grading. There's one little um, assignment on uh, something you thought was funny that I had held off on because I'm going to double back to it um, maybe next week. Uh, so that one's coming, but it's a small one. So, uh, hopefully everyone is caught up. Just a, a couple of a general things. Um, let's talk about these things. I, uh, a couple of them might should have, uh, talked about already, but let's, let's make sure. I don't reopen, um, modules. It's, there's a module per week. Um, and it, you know, that's part of being in an online class is there are deadlines and you've got to stay up with them. Now, that being the case, several of, well, a few of you contacted me about that. Please know I, I'm not that authoritarian type of teacher. I, I will remember that at the end of the semester and uh, give you the benefit of the doubt, possibly, where that is concerned. And so um, I know that, that everybody gets amped up about grades, uh, particularly in online sections. And so let's focus on the learning, um, let the grades fall out. I think everybody will be fine. Most of the points in the class are weighted in the last half. So um, please be aware of that. Um, happy coincidence. Sorry I didn't answer this before. And so I kind of graded lightly on this. Remember, a happy coincidence does not have to be happy, and it may not be a coincidence. So let's talk about Ars Nick and Old Lace. Pretty well, I gave you credit. I, I personally think that the, that the, um... Happy coincidence has to do with the fact that the story is centered around um, these sweet old ladies who are taking care of everyone in the neighborhood and then welcoming them into her house and burying them in the basement. Uh, that's what drives the action. Now, the movie is a little bit different than the play, uh, as, you know... Book adaptations in the movies typically are there. It's a little bit different. And if you got anything around the idea of the family not appearing as it seems, um, a very interesting take uh, several of you put down had to do with Mortimer not really uh, being part of the family and how that shapes the, the opening and closing scenes. Interesting take. I liked it. I gave full credit on all that. Um, and so that's... Um, that's good stuff. I hadn't really contemplated that. So if you got anywhere around the fact that that uh, it's weird that Jonathan and the ants are murdering and Jonathan doesn't get away with it, and the ants, you know, anything in that in that family, um, if I felt like you were in the in the ballpark at all, I just gave it to you. Um, the first thirteen questions were six points apiece. The last two written questions were 10 points apiece, and then I threw the last two points in just for funsies. Um, most everyone in the class made an A or a B. I think I had two C's. Um, and that's the, a, that's the grade range that I like to stay in. Um, I want you to do well. Now, word of the wise. Slow down, take your time. A couple of you missed Epidaurus. I put Epidural like I told you I would, and you gave me the wrong answer. That is reading comprehension. Same with, it's not Theseus of Attica, it's Thespis of Attica. Small things I understand, but reading comprehension matters. Slow down, take your time. Same thing when we're doing some of these weekly assignments. If you kind of give me two words back, um, I don't really know what you thought. Um, you'll fire off something fast, but it doesn't really give me anything to grade. I don't need an essay, but I do need enough to know kind of what you were thinking on there. Take your time. 
I'm only doing two assignments a week in this class. You would do way more if 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 we were face to face, but I've I've streamlined it for this class so that um, I, hopefully it makes sense. Um, now, if you didn't, some of you are the kind of people that need to get 106 to feel okay. Please don't email me and ask me what you can do to bring up your grade. We ain't even close to done yet. You have uh, major papers and a final exam coming up. No Xanax needed on aisle five. We're okay. Everybody's okay. Um, most everyone made an A or B, and I don't think anybody made below a C. We're solid. Be one of only a couple of exams in this uh, entire class. Most of the work is done through papers and uh, shorter assignments. So don't stress out. Uh, life is good. It's Monday. We're back in school. We had, don't know where you were, but we had, where, how it was where you are, but uh, we had a lot of ice here. So hope everybody's safe. Hope everybody has a great week. Take care.